Hello everyone, welcome back. It was too um, psychological, right? Lot of lectures given on confidence. Now let's play a very nice game. And tell me one thing, in your house, which is the, the, the wall that you love the most? We always have a section in our house which we love the most. And do you paint your wall with um, doodles, with caricatures, with uh, quotations? or with you, you scribble something on your wall. I'm sure you would do that. I'm, I'm, I mean, everybody loves one section of the house wherein they would want to paint that wall or draw that wall with their thoughts, their feelings, or paste something there. In my house, my favorite section, the favorite wall that I have is the passage that we have. In the moment we come out of the bedroom, there is a wall that we have, and we've pasted Lord Buddha's um, wallpaper there. It's, it gives me such a good feeling and I've, I've kept a console table there and I've kept uh, Gautam Buddha's statue. The moment I look at that, I feel so good. It gives me such a good uh, feeling, all right? Every morning I just sit near my computer and that is the wall that I get to see. That kind of give, gives me a positive imaging, positive feeling about the whole day. What are we going to do here? We are going to build a wall of, build a wall of, confidence and let's see what is this wall of confidence create a wall of confidence what are you going to do whenever you come across an inspiring or a constructive idea pin it up so what you have to do is seek permission from your parents I'm sure you must be having a section which is given to you that this is where you will sit and do your work I mean this is where you will sit and study all right even if you do not have a dedicated room for yourself, you must be having a dedicated space for yourself. From that dedicated space, take a wall. Put a notice board. Or if you do not want to put a notice board, fair enough. Seek for permission to your, from your parents to use that wall. Whenever you come across an inspiring or a constructive idea, like uh, you feel that few days back, uh, one of my um, learners, a child, he said that, ma'am, I want to build a drone. He doesn't know how to build a drone, but he said, that's an idea that came up in his mind. I asked him to pin it. Likewise, whatever constructive idea you think of, which you feel is doable, will help you, society, whatever. However small or big it is, however small or big the idea is, write it down, pin it if you have a notice board or paste it on that wall. Start by posting these affirmations on your wall of confidence. It could be a small wall. And let's say you feel you cannot get a wall. You take a chart paper. Let that be your wall. Let that not be put up on the wall, but it could be your wall. Do the same thing there on the chart paper. Put that sticky note if you do not want to um, paste it on the wall. Put that sticky note on the chart with any constructive idea. Or st and start by posting these affirmations. Affirmations are these words affirming you, telling you time and again, yes, this is the right thing, this is the right word. On your wall of confidence, it is safe for me to take charge of my life. Write it down. It is safe for me to take a charge of my life. Write it down in a sticky note and if you are using a wall, stick it there or if you are just using a chart paper, stick it on the chart paper or paste it on the chart paper. I am responsible for myself and everything I think and do. Write it down, paste it on your wall. So what are you going to do? You're going to create a wall of confidence. And for, for children who feel that they, did, they cannot get a wall, a chart of confidence. Think of three things you can do or stop doing from now on. If you think that there are, there are three behaviors or habits of yours which you need to change, write that which means you have to stop doing that and three things which you want to do from now on to take responsibility for your confidence and self-esteem let's say the three things that you can think of is waking up early spending some time with yourself that is meditation and third is eating on time so you can write that and these three things are something that you want to stop okay the same thing you can write this will boost your confidence and self-esteem. Write them out in large script. It should be large enough for you to see from anywhere that you try to look at it. In the form of a poster, okay? Create your own poster. 
and fix it to your wall of confidence. If not wall of confidence, fix it to your charge chart. When you keep talking to yourself by whenever you see the reason why it's a wall of confidence is you must have heard of a term called wall of fame wherein whoever has uh, in offices or in school you would be seeing there would be a notice board with a lot of information your eyes the moment your eyes meet um, see that notice board you get a lot of information every time you cross that corridor or that section you are seeing the same information unless it's changed and then it's getting imprinted in your mind likewise when you have a wall of confidence in your room in your house and you are continuously seeing the same thing. These are the things I want to change. These are the things I want to get away with. These are the things I want to build to uh, build my confidence or self-esteem or self-worth. That always, the moment you're seeing it, it's getting imprinted in your mind. And it's all about mind, right? Now your mind is attuned to think positively, to uh, take actions, to help you take actions and increase your confidence. So you'll have to promise me that you are going to build this wall of confidence in your house. With that, you know, note and with that hope that you will do it, a bye-bye to you. Thanks for watching.